What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Backtrack Cinema. and Welcome to my 31 Days of Horror series. In today's topic, guys, I'm going to show you my entire horror collection on VHS. Absolutely lovely VHSs. So many of them. I don't got as many as other people do, but we're going to show these babies off. I got them in like piles, piles of 10, piles of 15, something like that. I think I got a little over 50. So we're just going to, I'm going to blast right through these. So if you like videos like this, please like, subscribe, share the video around, and we'll have a great time talking about this stuff and comment down below about your VHS collection. I'd like to hear what rare horror VHS titles you have, ones you absolutely love, ones you cherish, all that kind of jazz. And we're just going to go through this and have a good time here. The original Amityville horror. Um, watched it once. I found it kind of slow. It wasn't, I wasn't really big on it, but that house, that house there looks pretty creepy though. And we got uh, James Brolin and Margot Kidder in this one. So excellent there. The remake, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is a good film, tense film. You know, I thought it was a little overhyped saying it was the goriest film ever back in those days. I didn't really find that, but uh Love Jessica Biel in this and love Leatherface in this. Scream, still in the plastic, guys. Scream, still in the plastic. This one has not been opened. Um, it is a classic. Not my favorite franchise in the horror genre, but this one is a very clever film for sure. And it's writing and, you know, spawned a franchise, really. We got the dual pack of Jaws, if you can see right there. Pretty nice dual cassette one. Good shape, too. Love me, Jaws. How can we talk horror on VHS without Jaws? Another big one, It. If you guys remember It, it was a TV miniseries in two parts, so it comes with two tapes here. Um, that is still a fantastic poster or jacket, whatever you want to call it. Great stuff there. Tim Curry sitting there as the creature It. I saw It. This one here I cherish, man. The original Nightmare on Elm Street. It is one amazing watch on VHS, man, because it's 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 dark, right? And the aspect ratio back then, you don't see as much as you do in um, the high def Blu-ray where, you know, they lighten everything up. It seems like they do anyway. Watch this on VHS. And this, I got this. Look, how, this is in pretty good shape. It's a little torn at the bottom there, but it, it really is in really good shape if you look at this tape i mean just look at that very good shape and i did not rewind this fucking thing it looks like just amazing love my nightmare on Elm street on vhs Ooh, one of my favorite bob's zemex movies love that cover the hand over the the crawl bathtub just an amazing movie love this one and you know a really unique performance by harrison ford playing a real sinister character, so I always love this one here. Next up, we got Stir of Echoes. Now, this one really got overshadowed by The Sixth Sense. Both are good movies, The Sixth Sense and Stir of Echoes, but definitely check this one out if you guys have not seen Stir, Stir of Echoes. Just a really um, atmospheric uh, ghost tale, you know what I mean? With Kevin Bacon as your lead. It's good stuff there. Silver Bullet. I love me some Silver Bullet. This is another great watch on VHS. You know what I mean? Tons of atmosphere. My favorite werewolf movie of all time. Not overly fond of the jacket here. I know that was the poster and everything. Love the title here. But, you know, there's nothing going on here. Nothing exciting, really. The Shout Factory Blu-ray release. They did a better job on the... The jacket for sure. The Lost Boys. So that's an old school jacket, as you guys can see there. The Lost Boys, great vampire flick. Fright Night's actually my favorite vampire movie. But love Keith the Sutherland as David in here as the badass. It's so good. This is like your rock star version of vampires, man. They're bad, they're lethal, but there's something so cool and hip about them. You know what I mean? Totally rad there. Lost Boys. <laughs> I stole the uh, the rad comment from the the rad pack there. I know they all love this movie. So. <laughs> we got Stephen King's Christine here. Another excellent Watchman. Loves some Christine, and it's a uh, great on VHS. And be honest with you, I haven't watched a lot of these these ones I'm showing you on VHS. I don't get a lot of time 
to come down here and watch some shit on VHS. I wish I did have more time for that, but anyways, we got some Dream Warriors, man. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, if I can learn how to show you guys there. Great cover, great jacket, and it's um one of my favorites, man. One of my favorite horror sequels for sure. One of my favorite posters, my favorite Halloween poster. Halloween 2. That thing is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I just love the skull face and the pumpkin there. It's it's pretty amazing. Absolutely love this. It's another franchise you got to watch on VHS. Next up, we got the original Halloween. Another great watch on VHS. Good old Michael Myers slashing it up in Haddonfield. The original is 78. Um, I love to watch this on VHS every Halloween. Just an amazing tradition to have, man, for sure. The original Child's Play, another good one. This is uh, this looks like a re-release. I'm not the end all the be all of all these VHSs and when they were released and all that kind of stuff, but love me some Child's Play. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Not a big fan of this movie, but I bought a huge VHS lot that a lot of these came in, and I had to buy the I had to buy like a hundred movies or something like that for a hundred bucks and this this came with it but uh not a big fan copying the breakfast club there in that jacket this too comedic for me i like my leather face dark and scary but whatever have you nice one still a nice vhs next up is psycho 2 i absolutely love the poster the jacket look at that what a great sequel to an awesome franchise i mean Norman Bates sitting on the top of the Bates, uh, the, the stairs there in front of his house is just amazing. Another really great watch on VHS. Kind of a slow, a slow burn. A lot of people's favorite. They, a, a lot of people prefer this over the original Psycho. Not me personally, but I had, when I saw this up for grabs, it had to get Psycho too. Ooh, Nightmare in Elm Street Part 2. Look at Freddy there, man. Just looking sinister, man dark and sinister this is any nightmare on elm street movie is gonna be a better watch on vhs let me tell you this is a fan film by my buddy steve merlo who did the sawyer massacre you guys in the horror community have probably seen him out on youtube great little filmmaker i got the vhs and it's you know how gritty he made this film i haven't watched it yet on vhs i watched it on on dvd and stuff like that but uh Excited to check this one out on VHS for sure, though. Ooh, Cujo. Just love this. Love Cujo. Love this Stephen King movie. This thing terrified me as a kid. Remember my mom taped this movie off some movie channel back in the day, and I was having a nap, and I woke up and read at the end there where she's trying to break her son out and is killing Cujo and everything like that, has to kill the dog. Man, Dee Wallace is just so great in this movie. Or she just goes for it with the acting, the realism. Just amazing, man. Ooh, then we got the original Friday the 13th. A must watch on VHS. Let me tell you now, it is amazing. I love watching this one on VHS. You know, put your Blu-rays away. Put your 4Ks away. Put your DVDs away. Go old school because this is such a better watch. And if you like that dark atmosphere, it's even better. You know what I mean? The blood's even a little darker. This one is so much more creepy on VHS, I find. We got another Stephen King, Creep Show 2. Really love this jacket. I like this movie. I'm a bigger fan of Creep Show 1. But man, this is a this is a find, isn't it? Just love Creep Show. I'll show you guys the backs a bit too, if you're into that. Yeah, Creep Show 2 is pretty awesome, man. I always love the the oil slick episode. That one's always one of my favorites. The Blair Witch Project. I imagine this one works really well on VHS. I have not watched it on VHS. I haven't watched this one in years, actually. Um, it wasn't my favorite film back in the day. I'm not a huge found footage horror guy. I do like the Paranormal Activity series, but I am actually want to give this a rewatch just because I haven't seen it in years and years, so... Definitely got to do that. Ooh, my favorite Friday the 13th movie. Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Another great um, VHS jacket. A good friend in the horror community there, Destiny Faulkner. She actually got me this. This, this movie means a lot to me. It's very personal to me. It's my first horror film I ever watched. Watched it with my mom. If you guys been watching the 31 Days of Horror, you know I go into that story a bit. So yeah, excellent. Jason lives here. I showed you Stir of Echoes. Now this is The Sixth Sense. This is actually a really beautiful jacket. 
VHS cover. I really like the artwork here. Nominated for six Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Ooh, guys, I found this recently at my last convention I went to quite a while back. But I got the original King Kong on VHS. This is this is a dandy, isn't it? This is pretty amazing. We got the black and white photos there. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Good shape, too. You guys can see there. Pretty good shape, man. King Kong. This is a classic, man. And one every film guru should definitely watch. More Stephen King. Pet Cemetery. Sometimes dead is better. <laughs> what a horrible personation. But yeah, that's, that's another cool cover. You know what I mean? Pet Cemetery is really tension-filled suspense. You know, after... Uh, is it Gage after Gage dies and everything like that? And uh, this idea of not being able to let go, but he uses the pet cemetery to bring his kid back and things just go fucking wrong, man. <laughs> Evil Dead 2. This is a great, great jacket. Look at that. I always loved the skull. I remember seeing this as a kid, seeing this VHS um, jacket, and it's always been one of my favorite posters. Maybe not top 10, but. Um, it's up there though, man. Just look at the eyes, you know. Not just a blank skull, but you have the eyes filling the skull. Too terrifying, too frightening, too much. <laughs> we got some Halloween four. Now tell me, where was this fucking mask in Halloween four? Because I didn't see it in there. Look at that. That's gorgeous, man. That's a gorgeous Halloween mask. It's too bad Michael did not look like that in this movie. And that's one of the things that really you got to get right. And one of the things I just wish Halloween four had a better Michael. I, I know a lot of people love this movie, love Michael in it, but I, I'm not big on the, the physical presence. I'm not big on the mask. 13 ghosts. This is a nice little ghost tale, uh, ghost story. It's, it's not bad. You'll have a real fun time with this one. I think, you know, a bunch of people in the, the big ghost house and all these ghosts come out and, there's the famous one, the girl in the bathtub, you know, with the knife, and she's all freaking bloody and everything. Always like that goes to this one. The Hitcher. Now, this is actually one I haven't seen. And I know, I know people have been telling me, get on the Hitcher. I love Ruder Hauger. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely got to get on this one. But uh, there you go. I got the Hitcher anyway on a VHS. We got another Stephen King, the classic The Shining. This is a uh, good Jack Nicholson performance. I do find The Shining a little overrated, more with character stuff, the character work in it. But I I do think it's a great ghost tale. The bathroom scene with the old woman coming out of the bathroom and everything is, is awesome. And like I said before, Jack Nicholson is pretty great in this movie. And it's got some great monologues in it too. So it is terrifying. It's just, I just find it a tad bit overrated. That's all. We got the ring, guys. I always love this VHS cover. This is amazing. Seeing Naomi Watts in the title card there and just the forest there, the well, everything about it, man. The ring is often so good. It's scary. The scariest movie of the year. Before you die, you see the ring. And it wouldn't have been cool if you could buy a copy of the ring on VHS and it's actual, it's just the, the tape they see, all those horrific images and everything. That'd be some cool promotion, man, for certainly well. And a classic scene, Samar coming out of the TV, it's just terrifying, man. Terrifying. Ooh, we got Shadow of a Doubt. Now, funny story. I got the Alfred Hitchcock box set because I love me some Hitchcock and I lost the DVD or the Blu-ray disc that's in the box set. So I was out and about and I saw this. And I said, oh, I'm going to pick this up on VHS because this is one of these movies I've been meaning to review forever. I love Shadow of a Doubt. Next, next to Psycho, it's probably the best Hitchcock movie I've seen. And yeah, this is a fantastic film. That I think we all, you all need to watch. But uh, Shadow of a Doubt, man, it's awesome. Scream 2, not my, again, not my favorite sequel, not my favorite movie. I know a lot of people love Scream, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things that just came in a lot. And I just kept it, really. We got The Others. Now, this is my kind of movie, man. I love ghost stories. Um, isolated setting. Great performance by Nicole Kidman. Atmospheric, moody, tension, suspense, all that kind of stuff. And it's, you know, it's classic PG-13 horror, this one. Good old ghost tale. The original 
Evil Dead. Now, this is a different jacket. I like the original where, where the girl's coming out of the, the grave and she's reaching up and everything. But this is it's Evil Dead, man. We got the original Evil Dead here on VHS and really not my favorite Evil Dead movie. I'm a big Evil Dead 2 fan personally, but, uh, you know, you could still have a good time with this one. Psychological thriller, Silence of the Lambs. You know, the story, guys, great Anthony Hawkins performance. Jodie Foster is amazing in it and some serious tension, um, foreboding sense of dread. You know, when Jodie Foster is first walking up to meet Hannibal Lecter, not knowing what to expect, he's just like, hello, how are you? You know what I mean? He's so calm and everything like that. But there is the, the way they focus on his eyes and his facial features. He gets terrifying in this scene, man. But Sounds of the Lambs is fantastic. We got Jaws 2. This is more like a slasher film with Jaws. You know, Jaws going after a bunch of teenagers, apparently. They're all sailing and everything like that. Um, I do like Brody in this. It is missing Quint. It's missing Hooper. Um, Ellen Brody, I think her acting is really good in this. But I still have a good time with Jaws 2. I still like it. It was very nostalgic. It was one of the ones I watched a lot as a kid. I watched Jaws 2 more than the original Jaws. So there you go. Brand Stoker's Dracula from the 90s. Not big on Keanu Reeves or Winona Ryder in this film, but the movie Gary Oldman as Dracula is all pretty good. Great production design. And, you know, going for more of that classic love story with Dracula, I think that's how the way the original novel was. I, I've never read it, but... um. I think that's where the story goes. But yeah, there's some good costume design in here. Love never dies. There you go. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. There we go. The original Beetlejuice. This is a classic VHS, classic movie. Love the comedy in it. Michael Keaton created just an, uh, an iconic character here. Brought to life an iconic character. It was absolutely hilarious. I love the scene where they ask him, Kit, what are your credentials? And he goes, I've seen The Exorcist 167 times. It keeps getting funnier every time I see it. You think I'm qualified? <laughs> I love that moment, but Beetlejuice is awesome. Friday the 13th, part four. This is another one that's in really good shape, man. The final chapter of VHS I have here. Give you a close up there. Pretty awesome, man. Pretty awesome. Body count continues in this vivid thriller. The fourth, but not final. <laughs> Fright Night, my favorite vampire film, but I'm not big on this cover. You know what I mean? There's evil, evil can evil there, or whatever his name is, it becomes a vampire. I wish this, you know, the original poster for Fright Night, um, and that the house with Charlie's house with the his girlfriend when she becomes a vampire is kind of faded in the in the sky and everything like that. Um, but hey, I got Fright Night on. VHS, that's what matters, right? But I just wish I had the original cover. Child's Play 3, the Chucky. You don't fuck with the Chuck. And this is the one where they're in the military school with the cadets and everything. Andy's in the military school and everything like that. Um, always, I like this one. I, I don't understand the hate it gets by some by some people. I always thought this was a fun time with some Chucky, man. Ooh, check out this one, guys. The Exorcist. Really good shape. Old school jacket on it. You know what I mean? This is uh, the 25th anniversary, actually, this one. A tale of possession that shocked millions of people. One of those rare v VHSs that's got special features, so it's all all good here, man. Um, love me some Exorcist. Creepy, creepy story. Scary shit, man. We got American Werewolf in London next. Um, love, love this VHS, for sure. On the back there changing of the wolf the best werewolf change of all time for sure gory horror and cute cool engaging this is state of the art stuff i like reading some of the stuff off the back <laughs> i don't know i'm a vhs nerd i guess i still know what you did last summer one of those ones that it was just in the lot i'm not a big fan of this franchise i'm not a big fan of the sequel here but uh I mean, that's got to be one of the lamest fucking posters I've ever fucking seen, for sure. Ooh, one of my favorite movies, The Thing. Definitely, any Carpenter VHS you got to grab. Because his style, the atmosphere he creates and all that always works so much better on VHS. The Thing, the ultimate in alien terror. Gorgeous, man. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is an interesting one, guys. The original Night of the Living Dead. 
awesome this is. Possibly the greatest low-budget film of all time filled with nonstop action. From the opening sequence in which Judith O'Day is terrorized by the first living corpse in the Twilight Cemetery. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, not the greatest jacket or anything, but that's Night of the Living Dead on VHS, man. That's awesome stuff. Chuck Norris in Silent Rage. You gotta have this one on VHS. This goes nicely with my Chuck Norris collection, but it's also a horror film, right? A small town is terrorized by a psychotic killer. Awesome stuff. Just love this. I watched this so many times when I was younger on VHS. Another one my mom taped. She had Visiting Hours and Silent Rage all on the same VHS um, blank tape. You know, back in those days, we'd We'd videotape everything off the TV, right? Ooh, I picked this one up at a convention, too. Never seen it. It's called The Car. I hear it's like, you know, Jaws on the highway, basically, with this car and everything. What evil drives the car? James Brolin, Kathleen Lloyd, John Marley, and Ronnie Cox. Oh, Ronnie Cox is in this. There's nowhere to turn, nowhere to hide, no way to stop the car. Gotta watch this one. Ooh, Alice Sweet Alice. Now... I kept this because I love the poster. The jacket's cool. It was a pretty decent movie. I did enjoy it. But this does not play very well. This this VHS is not in good shape. It's all messed up. But uh, kept it anyway just for a nice showpiece. You know what I mean? So there's some Alice Sweet Alice. A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. So yeah, I showed you one, two, three, and I got four. That's a cool poster too. Not my favorite movie. My favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie. but. It's still great to have on VHS. And last but certainly not least, guys, we have Army of Darkness. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen that jacket before, but I do like the original poster, the original jacket. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. There we go. Got Ash freaking out on the front there. And we got Trapped in Time, Surrounded by Evil, Low on Gas. <laughs> I love it. Show you the back there. Awesome. That is it, guys. That is my entire horror VHS collection. I know. I have some beauties in there, don't I? Some beauties in there. Um, won't run out of things to watch on VHS in the horror world. The collection I got. Love my collection. But what about you? Let me know in the comments what your collection's like. I know mine's just kind of small. It's For the collectors out there, mine's small. It is small, man, but but hey, I love it. So let me know in the comments what some of your favorite horror movies to watch on VHS are and what you have in your collection. That's going to do it for me, guys, on this video. I'm going to put up a card right now. So go down the rabbit hole, check out that video, and it will take you to many, many others. My name is Jason. You're watching Bat Track Cinema. I'll see you next time, and I'll see you in the movies. Cheers.